Okay. Okay, first, first your name and your title, please. Yeah, my name is Gabe Hoogers, and uh, uh, that's H-O-O-G-E-R-S, and my title is the National Executive Representative for the Canadian Federation of Students, Nova Scotia. Your reaction to today's budget? Uh, well, it's, it's good to see that, that the province is uh, putting $5.5 million into financial aid, but they haven't said where in financial aid that's going. We'd like to see that where it's needed most, which is need based upfront grants. Um, so far, we haven't had the word on that, but uh, you know, if it goes into the debt cap, uh, that wouldn't be good for students. It's not uh, at the front of university. It doesn't increase accessibility. What did you want to see? Uh, well, uh, we were looking for uh, an investment in, in, uh, in grants. Uh, you know, obviously the, the province has committed itself to tuition fee increases, which are not good for students. Um, and, uh, and students are more and more uh, accumulating more and more debt. Uh, more and more students aren't able to go to university. Um, so, so we're glad to see that. We've been pushing for a long time for a reduction in the uh, uh, graduate tax uh, rebate. Uh, credit uh, and uh, and fortunately we're seeing that that some of that money may have been relocated, um, but uh, this doesn't bear in mind still uh, that Nova Scotia's tuition fees are above the national average, unlike what the government is saying, uh, and that uh, students uh, for have the highest debt in uh, in Canada here. So. So you like the retention program, the continuation of the retention program, the graduate retention program? No, actually, no. Before, uh, the, the uh, government invested $25 million an annually in this program, and it was being unused because most students actually don't make enough money upon graduating from uni uh, university to uh, uh, use a, a tax credit. So, so we were advocating that, that money be relocated from that uh, into either tuition fee reductions or needs-based upfront grants. And uh, hopefully it has been. We have haven't heard the word yet, but we'd like to see this government do the right thing uh, and uh, put money where they need it most, and uh, that is in needs-based upfront grants.